The visual representation or movie you're about to watch will illustrate the scale of improvements to Campbelltown Loch water quality, which Scottish Water believe will be delivered by the Work Package 5 proposals. The movie will compare the spills previously experienced with the future predicted and improved spills into Campbelltown Loch in terms of spill frequency, duration and intensity. A three-month period has been selected to demonstrate how the proposed improvements will impact on the water quality of the loch. A particularly wet three-month period was selected, representing predicted rainfall during the months of October, November and December. The reasoning behind selecting a wet period is that during a typical rainfall period, there could be no spills at all occurring at the extended Kinloch Park pumping station outfall, since spills are predicted to occur here only four times per year once the improvements have been made. So a wet period was selected to make the comparison of interest. It would be good to remember that the movie illustrates a very wet period when we compare the spills to keep the movie in context. It should also be noted that the spills are being compared using predicted rainfall patterns based on 13 years of historical rainfall data, and that the spills are visual outputs based on real computer model outputs. The views in the upper portion of the screen represent outputs from the computerised marine dispersion model. However, the lower views are a simplified representation of the computerised sewer network model outputs. Although the actual outputs from the sewer network model could be shown, they do not produce a visually clear image and are difficult to understand if the watcher is unfamiliar with sewer network models. However, the lower views do provide a good, albeit simplified, representation of the sewer performance. The actual sewer network individual movies can be shown separately if required. The previous spill situation is shown to the left of the screen by way of the aerial view of Campbelltown Loch, the upper area, along with the section through Kinloch Park pumping station and outfall pipe, the lower area. This area indicates the typical situation in 2008. The proposed and improved situation is shown to the right of the screen. This would be the situation once the Work Package 5 proposals are complete, which with the current programme would be towards the end of 2011. The lower right area again illustrates a sectional view through the future sewer network, depicting the arrangement once Work Package 5 is complete. The difference compared to the left-hand side is that Kinloch Park pumping station outfall pipe has been extended and a storm pipe is shown leaving the pumping station. Also, the proposed storm tank located at Slatty Farlan is illustrated, along with the new Slatty Farlan storm outfall pipe and return flow back to the wastewater treatment works. As the movie plays, you will notice that plumes, indicated by various shades of light blue, appear in the aerial view, and a general representation of the network spills in the sectional views. The plumes indicated within the aerial view will not only represent periods of spills, but also the dispersal periods following a spill. The scale to the right-hand side of the views denotes the number of faecal coliforms per 100 millilitres from 0 up to 2000, which is the mandatory standard for microbiological discharges into these designated receiving waters. As the movie plays, you will also notice the ebbing and flowing of the tides. This is particularly noticeable by the repeated emergence of the Dorland Causeway leading to the Davar Island. The movie is five minutes long and depicts a three-month period of time, which means that a single day will pass in just over three seconds. You will notice that the central counter will count up the passing of days, and counters below each aerial view will count the spill frequency and cumulative spill hours for both the previous and proposed situations. The counter for the proposed situation counts spills through both the extended Kinloch Park outfall and the new Slatty Farland Storm outfall. Discharges from the treated effluent outfall have not been illustrated. Since the discharges from the outfall would be continuous in both the previous and proposed situation, they would be of little comparative value. In addition, the treated effluent quality is so high that it would be unlikely to be noticeable against the background water quality levels of the loch. You'll also notice the sewer system filling and emptying with time in the sectional views as the movie plays. The movie will now start. Notice the tide ebbing and flowing. In the aerial view to the left-hand side, you will see the first small spill at Kinloch Park for the previous situation. This is followed by another couple of small spills, but then on the 9th of October, a large spill with a long duration commences at Kinloch Park, which lasts over nine days in the previous situation. Now on the 10th of October we will see the first small spill in the proposed situation to the right hand side at Slatty Farlan. Notice that Kinloch Park in the previous spill continues to spill throughout.
Notice the Dorland Causeway appearing and disappearing with the tides, and the central counter showing the passing days. On the 18th of October, the ongoing long spill at Kinloch Park in the previous situation stops briefly, and then recommences on the 23rd of October for another long spill. Around this time, another short duration spill takes place at Slatty Farland for the proposed situation. For the previous situation, spills at Kinloch Park continue throughout. Notice the rise and fall of the water levels in the sewer network in the lower sectional views. The spills at Kinloch Park for the previous situation briefly stop towards the end of October, but then an unusually wet period is experienced for the whole of November. During this very wet period, the new Slatty Farland outfall for the proposed situation spills for four relatively long durations, on average for 80 hours per spill. But the spills for the previous situation at Kinloch Park are continuous for practically the whole month of November. This month also indicates the first spills experienced at Kinloch Park for the proposed situation. Because of the unusually wet weather, Kinloch Park is shown to spill on five separate occasions during the month. However, they are all of relatively short duration, ranging from about one hour to twelve hours. Notice the spills at Slatty Farland for the proposed situation dispersing with the passing of the tides, compared with the stagnation at Kinloch Park in the previous situation. It's important to note that for the proposed situation, Kinloch Park outfall will only spill four times per year on average, and all spills are through an increased outfall pipe length with the discharge point further away from the shore than the previous situation. Again, notice that Kinloch Park has been spilling continuously throughout the month of November. December is a drier month than November. This is manifested by Kinloch Park outfall not spilling at all in the proposed situation, and the new Slatty Farland outfall spilling for six relatively short occasions, averaging 13 hours each. Conversely, in the previous situation, the Kinloch Park outfall spills continuously from the 1st to the 21st of December, and again continuously from the 22nd to the end of December. Although the spills are significantly less intense, and with a smaller spill volume than November. This is also manifested by the relatively quick spill dispersion period at Slatty Farland for the proposed situation.